Hi, welcome to Doing Life Deliberately. My name is Trisha, and today I'm doing a curriculum review of Apologia Sciences Exploring Creation series. This series is for first through sixth graders, and it is a Bible based creation-based science curriculum that you can do together as a family in a unit type form. Let me just give you a little bit of history about our family and how we have approached science with homeschool. So our family has homeschooled for about 10 years and nine of those have been in a brick and mortar home. And I really struggled at first to find a science curriculum for my elementary age kids that was interesting, that was structured, that was kind of something we could just open and go. And so for the first couple of years of homeschool, I just, that was, a, that was a fail for me. It just didn't go well. And then I was at a homeschool conference. And of course, there's always a vendor fair at conferences, which I love about homeschool conferences. And so I was able to just sit and kind of browse through some different curriculums and I stumbled upon Apologia. We've done several years of the Apologia elementary curriculum. We've done anatomy and physiology, which was definitely a favorite. We've done astronomy. We've done botany more than once, actually. We've done flying creatures and we have done chemistry and physics, which was also a favorite. One of the reasons that we chose to do Apologia's Exploring Creation with Science curriculum is because it is a curriculum that we could do multi-ages and do it all together as a family. I love that it is kind of an open and go curriculum. I didn't have to do a lot of prep work beforehand. I could either read it aloud to the kids or they could take turns reading it as they were mature enough to be able to read the material. Jeannie Fulbright is the author of these books and she does a fantastic job of speaking directly to the kids. So when they're reading the material, they're reading it as though she has written it just for them and that's really fun. She does a great job of writing pronunciations throughout the text, and so as the kids learn new words, she explains how to pronounce them, and that's helpful even for mom and dad at times. These books are very colorful. The text has lots of beautiful pictures in it, and there's small sections, so you really can decide as the parent how much or how little you want to take on in a day. Each of the beautiful textbooks has notebooking journals that pair really well with the text. These notebooking journals allow an awesome opportunity for the kids to actively engage in what they're reading. There will be pages where they can take notes and draw pictures of the things that they are learning. There are puzzles that they can do. There are pictures that they can color. There are projects that they can do together. I would have my youngest kids do the junior notebooking journal, which requires less writing, and the older children do the regular notebooking journal, where there would be more space for note taking and draw pictures and such, but they would be able to do more writing in the upper level notebooking journal. But the material is still so similar that even though the levels of difficulty um, are different, the material is the same and they can still learn together. One of the things that we really enjoyed doing with this particular curriculum was we got together with other families and we performed the major projects at the end of every chapter with our friends. We did projects where we would create a roller coaster as we are investigating the digestive system of the human body and how it all works together. And so there's great opportunities, not only for the kids to physically learn about what they are reading in the book, but also to be able to do that with a group of friends makes it super fun. You get all their little creative minds together and you can just have a blast. A great benefit of the notebooking journals is that you hit all the different learning styles. As you read the text, obviously you are getting the visual learning going. 
as you read it out loud, you're getting the audio. And then as you are putting together flip books, um, at the end of each chapter, there's some sort of a flip book or a match book or something like that where the kids are cutting and they're coloring and they're pasting. Sometimes she will have vocabulary lessons where you will cut out little flaps and the definition will be on the page and you paste a flap on top with the word that matches that definition. So there's lots of different ways for the kids to practice and learn these new science definitions and concepts that makes it fun and engaging, but it hits all the learning styles regardless of what age they are. There's no tests in these elementary exploring creation science curriculums. And so it's nice to just kind of have that pressure off where you can just really focus on learning. And I love the approach that Jeannie Fulbright has where she really is trying to instill, you can tell, a love of learning into the kids. And so as they are learning these things as she gives them different projects where they go outside and they collect leaves and put together a leaf collection in their book as they do bark rubbings in their botany notebooking journals as they do nature walks and they make observations of the world around them you can just tell that she's really trying to instill in the kids a love of learning and that's what these first years especially are all about School should not be boring. It should not be something that the kids loathe doing. But when we can get out and explore a little bit, which is why we love road schooling, right? When we can get out and explore, whether you're in a brick and mortar home or whether you are road schooling and you're out on the road, it's about getting outside. It's about experiencing the world and not just reading about it. So I love that about her curriculum but it just makes it very active and engaging and fun. I also really love that because this is a Bible-based curriculum, she does a really great job of giving you different apologetics throughout these studies where she will point out that this really does support what the Bible says and the Bible says this and we can see this is true in creation. And she does that throughout all of the different books. So I really love that the kids' faith is really being built up even as they're studying science. One is not exclusive of the other, but she does a good job of drawing them all together. A couple of cons, if you will, and I don't even know that they're fair to call cons, is that it does take a lot of equipment to do the projects for these elementary groups. However, I say that, but however, one, I think a good science curriculum is just going to require a lot of materials to do projects. And two, you can buy boxes where most of the equipment is put together for you and divided into the particular chapters that it's in. And so you really just have to pull it out and maybe add a couple household items like maybe vinegar um, or baking soda. But most of the time that stuff is even included in the boxes. And so something that can be a little bit overwhelming, having to have all these materials, can actually be made really simple if you're willing to purchase the uh, kit that goes with it. So that's kind of a call for mom and dad. Another possible con is that there are or can be a lot of projects in each chapter. She will usually have one every couple of pages and usually throughout the chapter they're smaller and then at the end of the chapter there tends to be a bigger project and I would just say I think sometimes it's really easy as homeschool parents to think we have to do everything that's in the book but the truth of the matter is you can pick and choose you really don't have to do all the projects and you really don't need to feel guilty if you choose not to do all of the projects so even though those can kind of look like cons you know, you're the parent, you get to choose. I'm gonna let our kids tell you a little bit about what they thought about our experience with Apologia Science Curriculum. But for science, it was pretty good. My favorite part of it was getting together with friends who were doing the same subject as us and like the same unit and doing experiments with them. I think that was my favorite part of doing this. The writing assignments, you would have a book and um, you could read it yourself or your teacher could read it, as in mom read it to us mostly, most of the time. But 
we would write down notes and there's memory verses that you get to copy down that are related to what you're learning about, like plants or like the human body in like scripture. Um, so that was fun. And then there's also like little activities that you can do and like crossword puzzles or like match the definition or you could do like little cut out paper projects over the back of the book that are assigned for each unit. So that was pretty fun. It was really good. I remember a few experiments. I think experiments were the best part of it. What experiments do you remember? Um, I remember we put like a giant bottle of soda onto the um, driveway. And then we take like Mentos that were in a stack and we just put them in and then we stand back and wait for it to like explode up into the air. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're interested in exploring Apologia's Exploring Creation with Science curriculum, I will leave links in the description box below for each of the years of their science curriculum for first through sixth graders, along with the notebooking journals, junior notebooking journals, and science kits. Now, I'm not being sponsored by Apologia, but those are affiliate links, so I will receive a small percentage if you choose to make a purchase. It doesn't cost you anymore, it just means that your support helps us to continue bringing you great content. If you found this curriculum review to be helpful, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing for other great curriculum reviews for tips on road schooling and how to make school more fun, and to follow our road schooling adventures. We want to share what we are learning with you and help make your educational experience even more exciting. So please consider subscribing and joining us. And if you'd like to learn more about this idea of road school, I had a really fantastic conversation this week with Lorian and Destiny at Setting the Spark podcast. And I will also leave that link below. We had a great time discussing what we've done this past summer, how road school is different than homeschool, and everything between. So find that link below and give it a listen. Thanks for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you again soon.